Look at this, there are 4,152 subscribers in my trading group and we're killing it. I got a few shout outs to give on my trading group. This person stated, signed up for VIP Elite, I took your suggestion, I doubled my money in less than a week. This person, I'm up $58,000 in 10 days. Chris, thanks a lot for everything. I'm three or four months in the group. I've turned $4,000 into 65 grand. 65 G's out of 4,000. It's more than 10 X, he more than 10 X his money in the group. This person, I'm up $10,000 in the last week. I've got a cryptocurrency trading group. I've got six chat groups where he's calling out breakouts, posts and charts, working together to trade this market. I've got 41 videos in a playlist. If you don't know anything about trading at all, nothing, you can watch these videos, you'll be making profitable trades. Number one reason why people join my trading group is I post profitable trading setups every single day and we've been killing it. If you guys want to join the cryptocurrency trading group, you want to pay in crypto, email me cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com. I'll get you set up and in the group today. You pay for six months in crypto, you get a 20% discount. You pay for the year in crypto, you get an additional month for free and a 30% discount. If you do want to pay with a card month to month on a monthly basis, you can do so. There's a Patreon link that's in the description. This is Tezos up 72%. You can see here's the setup posted. Here's 52% out of link. Again, bought the breakout down here. Here's the setup. Here's Ethereum, 57% gains out of Ethereum. Here's the setup. Bitcoin at cash broke out 60% gain to over time. I want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution. We talk about everything crypto daily. Before we jump into this video, I want to ask you guys, smash the like button for me. Trying to get a like spike going, 1,000 likes a video, that's the goal. If you are new in cryptocurrency and you're trying to make heads or tails of this market, you're trying to make life-changing money, subscribe to this channel. I'm going to keep you updated daily. Bitcoin. So this is a weekly chart. We talked about this idea yesterday. The previous all-time high has not yet been officially broken as far as a daily, weekly candle close on this chart. Now, Bitcoin's retraced slightly since we talked last. We're going to kind of dig and dive deep into what scenario we can look forward to as far as Bitcoin price action goes. Ethereum targets. I'm going to give you some Ethereum price targets that are going to blow your mind. Alt season. These alts are lagging. When is alt season coming? Soon. Let's take a look at this idea. So the great thing about technical analysis that helps me the most is it gives me a couple possibilities of how this price action might play out, right? It's not, you know, Babe Ruth trying to call the, the home run shot in the, in the World Series, right? You're not trying to predict. Trading is not predicting, right? But it does give us a lot of insight as far as you have a plan in place. Okay, well, if Bitcoin does this, here's how I'm going to react. If Bitcoin does this, here's what I'm going to do price action gets going and you got a lot of money on the line and you're all over the place, it's very important that you write down a strategy and a plan. And I'm going to talk to you about a plan going forward with Bitcoin in just a second. But this idea, this is a Bitcoin 15 minute chart, shared a little bit with you guys. First idea was this double top reversal. Nope, didn't happen. Bitcoin moved and broke out above this 19,400, dollars $19, level. Now the trap idea trap idea could this this potentially is still in play moon are we about to moon so let's dig deeper into this idea i've got some amazing shout outs to give in my trading group this person reached out to me i thought it was real cool because he reached out to me and he said i made back a hundred thousand dollars profit in less than one month thanks to you and this group chris this person reached out on the 20th and he said on my day off i made 1500 bucks thanks to your trading principles. On the next day, he reached out and he said another $1,400 the very next day. He reached out today, a wave set up. This guy's like throwing the money around, waves, money. If you wanna join the trading group, go to my website, cryptorev.net for all the information. Bitcoin, four hour chart. And so I want you to pay attention to this 18,800 level, which is also this key resistance level uh, that we pointed out up here that was a measured move. And so this $18,800 level is key support. All right, previously we had $1,800 Bitcoin swing, huge swing 
over this eight hour time period. Like have a plan in place, do not freeze up. Have a plan in place, okay? So this trap idea, is this gonna play out? Okay, I want you to focus on 18,800. Here we are, resistance. I mean, you had multiple attempts to break 18,800 and the bulls just couldn't do it. Finally, you get this big volume spike and they're able to break through, pull off this double top, and then this is the confirmation of this double top that led to this massive move to the downside here, okay, with tons of volume. And then here, in order to break 18,800, you see the bulls had to show up and, again, pump this price considerably and a big volume spike by the market. So it took a lot of buyers to push and break above this level. So this is a key support level at this point. You know, previous resistance becomes future support. Pay attention to the support. We This is the bulls need to hold 18,800. And again, you're worried about daily 12 hour candle closes, right? That's where most of your good signals come from right the higher time frames like you get all kinds of scamming price action on the on the lower term time frames right so just remember this idea you can see you're about to get a bearish macd cross conf confirmed on the uh, four hour chart potentially uh, you've got your rsi moving lower your stochastic is headed towards over sold territory but again the bulls need to put in a bounce here this is a 30 minute chart and so we talked about this price target 20,721 if bitcoin was able to break this resistance well not only did it unable to break the resistance but this trend line was broken as well came up here and you had a bearish retest bearish retest just like you buy a breakout in a retest as far as a bullish breakout goes you would essentially this would be a sell signal for downside continuation now I was looking at the price action and it looks like it's trying to put in some type of double bottom. But for this to be confirmed, you can see double bottom. For this to be confirmed, you need a break up here above 19,434. Okay, and we this was looking for this bearish retest. This happened earlier uh, today. One thing I just want to make sure and cover with you guys, like when you are setting stop losses and buy and sell orders, don't use round numbers. Right, let's say right here, you were, these are FIB retrace levels. Okay, so after this break to the downside, I was looking for, you know, buy the dip type scenarios based on, you know, scaling into these oversold bounces, which you did get an oversold bounce, V shape recovery. And I have videos that explain how to partake in this buying strategy. And it's, it's amazing. Like you could literally sit on the sidelines and make a ton of money in this market if you just buy these oversold bounces. Right, you can completely build a strategy around buying these pullbacks, and it's again, it's quick moves to the upside as well. And so, but the important thing is this low right here. Price action came down and tapped the 200 simple moving average, right at about 18,000. However, the low was actually 18,080, and this is on Huobi. But let's say on on Binance, it was 18,001 dollars. So the, the most important thing here is you don't want to stack your, your buy orders, your stop losses on everybody else. So you don't want to use, you know, I'd throw in, if I was going to maybe set this as a limit buy level, you know, 18,081 and 11 pennies, not 18,000 because there's, there's, you're going to be in line. You're going to be stacked onto everybody's orders. Buy orders are stacked right here, 18,000. Right? So you want to front run them. You want to be slightly ahead of them. You want your orders to get filled prior to theirs getting filled, right? You're trying, trying to take other people's money and you're, you're really competing against everybody else. As far as anything you're doing trading this market, you're trying to take other people's money. Let's actually have a moment of silence for all the money that we're about to take from the new money that's coming into this market right now. They just don't even have a clue what they're getting into, right? I mean, it's great, it's fun. Like, it's amazing to ride these, these moves to the upside, but these moves to the downside, bear market that we went through man a drag session the question is are we going to get a double bottom reversal to the upside we're watching that 18,800 level on the higher time frames you know 18,500 18,000 17,600 and on down so forth okay would be key fib levels for retracement ideas if the bitcoin bulls are unable to show up and push this price higher tensorcharts.com great heat maps you can see where all these yellow lines are at. All the sellers are up here right now. 
all the sellers. Like there are so many limit sales coming in, like right here at this big pullback earlier. I'm just sitting here watching them. And I had posted this idea in the trading group, Bitcoin 15 minute heat map. I said, dude, there are 1400 Bitcoin being sold. It's a sell wall, huge sell wall. And then you have all these limit sales, all these sell orders, limit sell, limit sell, limit sell. The whales did not want this to break 20,000. They were just pressing this price to the downside. So here's your bearish retest, which is the idea for downside continuation here. So you don't pay attention to what Bitcoin's doing as far as the retracement goes. This idea is invalidated if, if Bitcoin can run up here and break above, you know, 19,500-ish, break back into this pattern. So let's have a game plan. Let's make a game plan for Bitcoin. I want to give a shout out to Trip, who is in my trading group, and he, he created this chart for me. Uh, 2017, you can see Bitcoin had this amazing run up, even break above this key level. I mean, potentially this is the previous all time high broke above it. OK, so this alludes to the fact, well, Bitcoin might break and run up to 21,000, 22,000, 23,000. And then you got this huge, crazy move to the downside. OK, so very similar to what we're looking at right now. Okay, where we had this huge move to the downside, bearish retest. If we get this dip right here, if we get this dip, this is a pretty big dip. This is a 30% pullback by Bitcoin, by Bitcoin. Because you see what happens afterwards? Like this is the dip to buy because Bitcoin ran, I mean, it ran up to 20,000 after this. $900 to 20,000. You know, and so we talk about, hey, Bitcoin could 15x and could 20x, and that would definitely make a lot more sense if you do get a big pullback out of Bitcoin. Whether it happens or not, I'm just saying, hey, game plan now is focus on these ideas, these dips in Bitcoin. Number one, if Bitcoin pulls back, we're going to get an amazing alt season. As soon as, as, soon as Bitcoin calms down, we're going to get an amazing alt season. People are going to take their Bitcoin profits and they're going to pump it into these altcoins. I'm ready. I'm ready. Those are my favorite. Altcoin season is, for me, midterm hauls, easiest trading, easiest money you can make in crypto. And that's coming. Make sure and get up to speed on any of these ideas. Make sure and watch my previous videos to kind of explain that idea, possibly join my trading group. This is the key. You want to buy the Bitcoin dips. 20% dip. I mean, but the key is you want to scale into them. Right? Like a downtrend, you cannot buy dips in a, in a downtrend. It doesn't work. I mean, it's going to be a drag session. I mean, think about it. If you bought $18,000 Bitcoin a few years ago, like you just broke even. That's not any type of strategy that I want to be a part of. However, now Bitcoin is putting in higher lows. This low, this low right here is potentially higher than this low, was higher than this low. Okay, so you're going to buy the dip and, and then the next low, worst case, is going to be higher than the previous low. All right, so that's the advantage of buying the dips in an uptrend. These huge, crazy, scary, gut-wrenching dips that we have going forward, buy them. Maybe just for round numbers, maybe you buy a thousand at a twenty percent pullback, and then you increase. You buy two thousand at a thirty percent pullback. That helps you offset the losses that you took on the thousand you bought on the first dip. Possibly it gets to 40%. Again, that only happened maybe one time, but if that, that happened, you would buy $4,000 worth of Bitcoin on the bigger dip. So you kind of scale in, you kind of increase. I actually double the amount that I buy as, you know, if, 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 if there's downside continuation. So you're offsetting the losses from the previous buy orders, if that, if that makes sense. So again, this makes sense right now. This is the game plan going forward. Buy the dip, scale in, moon mission is coming and i'm like do not stress out over pullbacks in bitcoin because moon mission operation moon mission is commencing period now again bitcoin could run up to 21 22 000 and then get a deep retracement but whatever it does we don't know we're not trying to predict we're trying to plan plan to buy the bottom, do not get stressed out. Do not quit crypto, do not. Like last time we had a 20% pullback and, and I get people emailing me, they're like, I'm quitting. I can't, I can't, I can't handle crypto. What happens is people have so much money in this market. They're way too top heavy in crypto. That's why they get so emotional about these moves in the market. If you're having these types of emotion, you're, you're using too much money, like, right? This is, you, you need to trade and, and potentially be invested in cryptocurrency with a, with a small percentage of your entire investment portfolio. Stay diversified, right? 
Absolutely. So just wanted to kind of set the tone for what we have to look forward to over the next 18 months as far as Bitcoin goes. Ethereum 2.0 beacon chain has been launched. So the Genesis block of the beacon chain winks into existence. 880,000 Ethereum have been staked to date, which is about 350,000 more than the minimum amount required. Remember, you got Coinbase, Binance now. They're going to support Ethereum 2.0 staking. So Ethereum has a tremendous amount of upside. We're about to cover this on a chart in just a second, just to kind of give you some amazing price target targets that will make your head spin when it comes to Ethereum and these altcoins. This is a pretty amazing idea that I found. And remember, the, the key to being profitable in this market is having your feelers out there. Like if I could watch enough YouTube videos to keep up with everything in this market, that would be great, but I can't. And so we've got a team, I've got 4,000 people on my team and I love it because they're hitting me up with any type of information that you found. You can see I posted this idea on November the 27th. November the 27th, Andre Cronier, who is the creator of YFI, this was, you know, essentially something that was leaked and it was out there. People were talking about it, different Telegram channels, and I found it. And you can see there's transactions from Anthony Cronje where he's staking over $800,000 worth of sushi. Newer decentralized exchange crypto. And there's, there's rumors about Andre Cronje's YFI merger with sushi. And it shows Andre Cronje is buying sushi. He's buying sushi right here got it right here in front of you and you know what we hit sushi for 32 percent gains because i said hey if this if there's going to be a merger this is going to be there's going to be a lot of hype factor there's a huge hype factor coming by the breakout of this level 32 percent gains out of sushi this news moves the markets this is what you want right focus on the news that moves the markets we're going to see a lot more of this as all season progresses, as all season begins, really, and then continues to move forward. Okay, and so this news, I mean, it's easy. The herd can understand, okay, hey, these merger rumors are going to make the value go up. It's going to bring a lot of hype to it. This, people can understand this. Then you put a good technical idea as far as these charts behind it. Your success rate on these charts and these, these trades is going to increase tremendously, and that's why they're my favorite. This is why I like to trade these midterm holds with some news catalyst behind them. And you can see sushi surges 30% multi-week highs. And this is again posted today. However, we knew about it four days ago. And you gotta pick it up, you gotta find it before mainstream media picks it up, right? Before the herd really finds out about it. You gotta be in the mix. You find it on Telegram, you find it on Twitter, you find it on Reddit, you gotta have these these ideas and these news sources at your fingertips. There's no way you're going to know everything in crypto, but the key is you have to know where to find it. This is an idea I want to talk to you about. Altcoins are lagging. Altcoin season's coming as soon as Bitcoin calms down. I want you to look at this. I mean, Ethereum, this is Ethereum weekly chart. I mean, there is a ton of upside here. I mean, Ethereum to run up to all time highs, which would be about 1350, which will happen, has tremendous upside to go okay tremendous upside now if we look at bitcoin well you know what bitcoin's already up here around all-time highs bitcoin's already done it ethereum is lagging behind ethereum's all the way down here okay so if you look at these price targets i mean whether or not you know ethereum pulls back a little bit and then takes off the, the, the most important thing you can understand about this market is you need a bit of you need a lot of patience right so even if ethereum dips a little bit there's still a ton of upside here like you'll see 708 and then 795 and then 913 and then a thousand dollar ethereum on up here just just for ethereum to catch up to where bitcoin's at in its market cycle essentially test these all-time highs and then it's, at some point it's going to break just like bitcoin's going to break all-time highs ethereum is going to do it too this is going to take some time to play out but ethereum market cap smaller than bitcoin and it can move a lot faster and so i just want you to know how this market works and how even if there's a pullback with ethereum i mean you're talking price targets a thousand thirteen hundred dollars and so forth i mean there's a lot of upside for ethereum all these altcoins are going to really take off life-changing money is coming you just have to be patient if you guys like the content that i provide on a daily basis be sure to subscribe to the channel like the video comment below with the bell for notifications thanks so much i'll see you guys tomorrow